everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy at Attic Treasures Etc. And I'm back for day 21 of December 2022, which is a collaboration hosted by Barbara at uh, 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel at Junk Journal Art. So today the the prompt is for button in a tea bag. And I've been racking my brain on what to do with this. Uh, and the animal is a kangaroo. So when I think of kangaroos, I think of pouches and pockets and things like that. So after a lot of deliberation on my part, I decided to use some of my uh, tea bags and make some stacked pockets for my journal. So I have, uh, I think, six here. Three of them I've already trimmed down uh, to get rid of the, you know, the torn edges. And three I haven't just because this is what I just, <laughs> just now decided and figured out how to do. So um, I, I hadn't gotten that far with the other three yet. So what I think I'm going to do, though, to make them stronger is, uh, let's see if we can get this right. <laughs> Is I'm gonna Mod Podge them and I'm gonna start out with Mod Podge matte and then I'm gonna put some uh, Mod Podge gloss on it as well so I'm gonna do um, all of these just basically just to give them some strength um, so that they're not gonna tear and it also something I discovered makes them pretty transparent as well which I thought was an interesting um, phenomenon, I guess. Put this over here, and then I can put the wet one on it to, to dry. You kind of have to peel them off of the parchment paper, which is what I have here. I was picking up even some of the color from the parchment paper below, which I use as a, um, you know, something to protect my desk when I'm stenciling and, and inking and stuff like that. So, okay, so I'm doing both sides. And I'm just going to continue on with this and then I'll come back after I've dried them all off. Okay, so I have Mod Podge on both sides of these uh, tea bags, and now what I want to do is take some collage medium and put two of them together. And my thinking is that that's going to make for a stronger pocket. So I'm using this Distress Collage Medium. I'm going to use this smaller one, cause and then I'm going to put one of the, the bigger tea bags on top of that and then I'll be able to trim it. I've never used tea bags this way before, so I hope my idea will work. We shall see. Sometimes, you know, we get ideas in our head and we think, oh, that'll never work, or maybe it'll work and maybe it won't. But, you know, I like what Tim Holt says, where if you think you you want to try something then you should do it if you're thinking what if what if I did this or what if I did that he says then you should be doing that so here I am I'm doing that okay I'm gonna dry these off with my heat gun and then I'll be right back okay so these are almost ready for me to trim down but the final coat that I want to put on here is Mod Podge Gloss. I tried that on another one and I really, really liked the texture that it gave. So now I'm going to um, put a coat of Mod Podge Gloss and I'm just going to do it on one side. Those little white flecks are uh, where the um, tea bag picked up some gesso that happened to be on the parchment paper when I was uh, putting the Mod Podge on it, and that's perfectly okay. I don't mind that at all. Okay, again, I am going to uh, dry these off with my heat gun and go rinse off my brush, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so now I'm ready to start trimming them. And like I said, I really love the texture of this with the, with the gloss on it. And you can see it's almost transparent, uh, very translucent with, with two you know, layers. With one layer, it's even more transparent, but um, you know, I did the two layers on purpose. So I'm gonna trim, trim off the excess from the sides here. and uh, finish gluing down anything that didn't get glued down all the way. This corner here, let's use some glue stick. We're supposed to have a big storm or more of a storm tonight, snowstorm or snow, icy rain, conditions nobody wants to be on the road in. Here in Washington, we, we get weird snow. It, a lot of times it's really wet and slushy and it makes driving really treacherous and we just you know we don't get snow that often but when we do it's really dangerous to drive in I'm happy just to sit in my craft room and not go anywhere but my husband had to go run some errands today and hopefully he gets home before uh, you know it starts getting nasty out Okay, I'm getting there. So I want to start just stenciling on on these pieces. I like this stencil. It's a Waverly stencil that I got from Walmart. Let's try Rusty Hinge. Oh, I like that. Okay, that looks really good. Set that one aside. And I think for this one, do some, what is this, chicken wire? Maybe just some letters. I'll just ink around all the edges. Okay, I'm going to sew around all of these, and when I'm done with that, I'll come back and we can finish decorating. So before I take this to my sewing machine, I want to attach this piece of lace. This is going to be the bottom pocket, so it's going to be the one that has the most decoration. So I'm just going to put some Fabri-Tac along the top and side edges there. And then of course I've got to let this one dry all the way before I try to sew on it. Okay, so I'm done sewing on these and I went ahead and I added some uh, chindi red leftover fabric and some of this uh, animal print fabric as well. And um, they're going to stack like this on the page. So I want to put a couple more things on here first. So I have this I made this after I did my grungy snippet roll, and I wanted to put this on uh, on here with the button. So the button is going to go like that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, find some thread to sew this button on with. Well, actually, I'm just going to glue it on, but I, I still want to put some thread through it. Just use some Fabri-Tac here on the back. Nice little glob so make sure that it stays. And then because the kangaroo is the animal of the day, I cut out this little kangaroo out of this animal print and I'm just going to glue it right on. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm ready to put these on the page now. And the page that I've chosen is this one. And we'll put this one on the top. Let's see, let's get these positioned. Okay, so I think we need a few more buttons. So I have some of this uh, paper left over that I did some inking on. And I have a couple of circle punches. And I have this uh, two hole, this little two hole punch thing here. So I thought what I would do is punch my little, my two little holes. And then center my uh, punch, my circle punch around the holes. To get a button. So there's one. And I think I can probably get one more maybe out of this one. We'll see. It says more than one layer on it though. There we go. Use the small punch. A small circle punch. Oh. Wonder if we can get one more. I think we can. If I can get this on there properly. I have some tea bag string left over here. Maybe we can just thread that through it. Okay, I love how this has turned out so far. Now we just need a sentiment. I'm going to put remember this and let's just glue this on with some art glitter glue. Even though that's fabric up there, that's where I'm going to put this though. So I really love how this turned out. I love the colors in it. It kind of goes with some of the grungy pages that I've already done. So we have the, the tea bags for the pockets and I've got some buttons, some handmade buttons and a real button and a kangaroo. And I think just to finish this off, I'm going to put some of these old photographs in here that I got. Um, I found an old photograph album at an antique store and I think they will just fit perfectly in here just like that. 
so this I think this turned out great so for tomorrow um, the day, the video will be for day 22 water and an envelope insert and we're on the home stretch in this <laughs> so I hope you like this and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video so always let the serendipity find you and happy crafting everybody bye bye